Hi guys. My name is Bubs, and I'm a snowy owl. I'm covering for Paige the Possum this week because I'm one of her best friends. And she asked me if I wanted to do this video with you guys. And of course I said yes, because that sounded like so much fun. So we're gonna read this book, and then we're gonna do a craft, and then we're gonna play a game. Does that sound like fun to you guys? Okay, let's go. A Pinky is a Baby Mouse and Other Baby Animal Names by Pam Munoz Ryan and illustrated by Diane DeGroat. Baby pigs are piglets wallowing in the pen. Kids are baby goats ramming now and then. Baby pigeons are squabs perched near the window pane. I am a baby mouse. Tell me, what's my name? Cozy rosy mouse snuggling in the loft. You are called a pinky because you're pink and soft. Baby trout are fingerlings swimming in a school. Pollywogs are baby frogs growing in a pool. Baby cranes are cranelings pecking grass and grain. I am a baby swan. Tell me, what's my name? Fluffy, scruffy swan, please do not forget. You're not an ugly duckling. You're a beautiful cygnet. Baby porcupines are kittens chewing buds and bark. Owlets are baby owls blinking in the dark. Glowworms are baby fireflies, but they don't have a flame. I am a baby bat. Tell me, what's my name? Fuzzy flying mammal, until you are grown up, you have a special name. You are called a pup. Baby jellyfish are ephiras swimming with the tide. Baby eels are elvers finding a place to hide. Baby seals are beach wieners playing a slippery game. I am a baby mackerel. Tell me, what's my name? Tiny, shiny mackerel, you're just a little tyke. And until you grow much bigger, you are called a spike. Baby giraffes are calves browsing next to mother. Baby hawks are ayahs nesting with each other. Cubs are baby lions tugging father's mane. I am a baby zebra. Tell me what's my name. Hobbly wobbly zebra at the water hole. Just like a baby horse, you are called a foal. Baby spiders are spiderlings hiding beneath the leaves. Baby monkeys are infants chattering in the trees. Baby crocodiles are hatchlings resting in the rain. I am a baby boa constrictor. Tell me, what's my name? Wiggly squiggly boa, you'll be a heavyweight. But while you are a newborn, Buddy, you're called a newborn. This is again, and I'm going to show you how to make the craft for this. Joey's are baby kangaroos so, riding a first, you're going to need some white paint, baby spiny ant eaters, some black puggles, construction paper, and some mouth. brown construction paper. Baby emus are chicks a clothespin, running on a plane. A glue stick or I other kind of glue. A bowl or plate name. to put your paint in so it doesn't get all over your Teeny mom's table. Platypus. There's news that's sad but true. A white crayon. And tell somebody and thanks again. There's something round to trace to make a little owl eyes. Here we have our nature baby's name. Excited? Let's and get now started. We're at the end of the story. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna cut out a little branch for the owl babies to sit on top of. Gotta have somewhere to sit. We're gonna crumple this up. This is the most fun part. We're gonna crumple this paper up so that when we unfold it, it'll look like a tree branch because it'll be all bumpy, like tree branches are. See that? Okay. So we're gonna put it on the paper and that's where we're gonna want it on the bottom. And then we're gonna get out our glue stick or our other kind of glue we're just gonna smear that glue all over that stick and we're gonna glue our stick down and then we're gonna have a place for our baby owls to sit.
There we go. We got a branch now. Perfect. Now that's a perfect Make sure to press it down really good and tight so it stays glued okay, on. Okay, now we're going to grab a pencil paw. and we're going to trace the shape of our little baby house. Now we're now just we're kind of drawing is we're going to get a black shape. Only if you kind of the shape of baby owl. And you can draw little you designs the on the logs so, so it looks like erase if we make a branch. Mistake. And then we're going to grab a white. do this part if you don't want to. We're going to trace over We were just a little bit bored, stuck inside now, the room. reason so we're, we're just going to make them kind of egg-shaped or ovally shaped is because that's kind of how baby owls look. And I'm going to show you some pictures of some baby owls real quick to make sure you believe me just in case you don't. I better wait for her to finish tracing. Alright, almost done. Yes, here we go. Baby owls. These are baby barred owls. Do you see how round and fluffy they are? Oh, baby saw wet owls. Also really cute. Oh, that's what I looked like. A baby snowy owl. Oh, but the craft's starting, so we better get on that. No, we didn't miss anything. She just put paint in the bowl. Okay. So we're going to use the clothespin, and we're going to clothespin our pom-pom so that we have a little handle for it. And then we're going to dip the pom-pom in the white paint. And we're going to dab that white paint all over inside of our oval. So these are going to be your baby owl's little feathers. So we just looked at pictures of baby owls and how fluffy their feathers are. So that's what we're trying to make this look like. We're just going to dab that white paint all over until we filled the whole oval. I think we're almost done. Okay, I think it's good now. There we go. Okay, we got one done. And we didn't want to show you doing the rest of them because it's all the same. Now we're going to use our round thing and we're going to trace the round thing with a pencil. Those are going to be our baby owl's eyes. And then you can't really see the pencil, so we're going to trace it again with the white crayon just to make sure you guys can see what's going on. And now, ooh, okay, so we don't cut super fast. We can just make our video go super speed. So cut really carefully with your parents' help. But we're going to show you really speedy. And once you have the eyes cut out, you're going to get that black crayon. And you're going to color in pupils in the middle of the eyes. Now we have owl eyes. Okay, next thing is the beaks and the feet. So we're gonna cut triangles out of our paper. So it's really easy to cut a triangle because it's just got three sides on it. So you can just make a couple cuts into your paper and you've got a triangle. And we got our glue stick again. We're gonna get that all glued okay, up. Grab those owl eyes. And then we've got a beak the for our baby owl. Stick it Look on at there. That. <laughs> Maybe we should put a little eye patch Perfect on the other job. one instead of giving him two. Uh, oh, never mind. We've got two eyes now. There's my foot. And foot number two. Wow, great job, guys. That looks great. Okay, we're going to draw in little toes on our owl feet. You don't have to do this. We just want it to. So you can draw some little black lines, and it'll make it look like your owls have little toes on their feet, because owls have talons. Good job. Okay. Now what we're going to do... Oh, we're not going to use that. Put that back. Good job. Okay, so we're going to grab our white crayon, and we're going to draw a little moon and color that in. And now we're going to make little dots everywhere for the stars. Because owls are nocturnal, so usually they're awake at night when you guys are all sleeping. That's why you can hear owls hooting in the trees at night. So we're just going to keep making stars until everything is covered. I could probably do better. But that's okay. I guess it looks good. Almost done. 
almost done. Dun 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 dun. dun. We did it. And now we'll craft. Next, we're going to do our activity. So we've got these cards that we printed out and cut out with our mom. And those cards have different animals' names and the baby's names. And then we've got our instruction sheet, which you can also print out with the cards. And then we've got some masking tape. And the link is below the video. All right, there goes Celine. She's going to tape them all down on the floor. She's going to use that masking tape and she's going to stick all the cards around. So we got about a circle. Good job, Celine. Okay, so here's how we do our hatchling box turtle card. So Josie's on the table pretending to be mom and she calls out the name and little Celine runs over. She looks at the card and she does what the card says. Good job hiding like a turtle, Celine. Hi everybody, I'm back. So, what'd you think of our crafts and our activities in the book? I had a little bit of help, gotta tell ya. From our three AmeriCorps interns, Josie, Skyla, and Celine, they were really fun. And they were in these videos, so they hope that you liked watching them jump around and do all of the activities. You guys have a great rest of your day, and if you wanna share any of your owl crafts, or your activity videos on Facebook and tag us in it, that'd be awesome. And all the resources are below this video. All right, I'm gonna go to bed now, so you guys have a great day. Bye.